Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see, our topic for today is a quadrant. Now in this video, we will discuss all the basic and fundamental properties of a quadrant. So let's begin our video with the structure of a quadrant. Now over here, you can see that we have a circle with a radius r. And you can also see that we have a specific portion colored in green. Now this portion is called as the quadrant of the circle. So AOB is the quadrant of the circle with the radius r. Now quadrant of a circle is nothing but one fourth of a circle. So basically I can say that a circle is formed of four quadrants. The most general numbering of the quadrant is as follows. This quadrant is taken as the first quadrant, this as second, this as third and this as the fourth quadrant. The angle contained at the center of a quadrant is always a right angle. So I can say that AOB is equal to 90 degrees. For finding the perimeter of a quadrant, let's divide it into two parts, 1 and 2. Now the first part will be the two bases of the quadrant that is AO and OB. Now AO is equal to OB which is equal to R. So the first part is equal to 2R. Now for the second part, we have to calculate the length of the arc AB. Now for a complete circle, we know that the circumference is equal to 2 pi R. And we also know that the length of the arc AB is 1 fourth of the circle. So we have to just divide it by 4. So the final value is equal to pi R by 2. So the final answer for the perimeter of a quadrant will be equal to r times 2 plus pi by 2. Now moving on to the area of a quadrant, we know that the area of a circle is equal to pi r square and a quadrant is one fourth of a circle. So the area will also be one fourth of that of the circle. So the area of a quadrant is equal to pi r square whole divided by 4. So let's do a quick summary of all the topics covered in this video. The angle contained at the center of the quadrant is a right angle. A quadrant is formed by two bases AO and OB and one arc AB. If we know the radius of the quadrant, then the perimeter of the quadrant is equal to 2R plus pi R whole divided by 2. And the area of the quadrant will be equal to pi R square whole divided by 4. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh,